Hey, how's it going everyone? Dylan here. Today we're going to be chatting about Lynn Ramsey's film You Were Never Really Here, which finally came to Australian cinemas, uh, I think about two months after the US or something like that. But I'm not super angry. Finally got to go see this this morning at Event Cinemas Marion. Thank you very much for the ticket, guys. Let's get into my thoughts. So this film has been getting a huge amount of praise all the first half of this year from over in the US and abroad and I was really looking forward to seeing this. There was a screening a while back but it was on too late for me to actually go unfortunately but I'm not that sour. I have kids. 9pm screening on a weekend isn't really the best for me. So it's opening weekend now properly and um, thanks to Umbrella Entertainment they released it nationwide for uh, in cinemas. Uh, and uh, Event Cinemas Marion were kind enough to provide me with a ticket to go see it and review it. You Were Never Really Here, directed by Lynn Ramsey, also I believe written by Lynn Ramsey, uh, stars uh, Joaquin Phoenix and uh, he plays a character, Joe, um, who is an interesting character for sure. Um, I'm still in kind of in awe of this film. I think it is an extremely unique piece of filmmaking. The way, from the way it's edited, shot, and the way everything works together, the soundtrack, it's all unique. Um, I was, it, number one, the cinematography is fantastic. It was a visual feast for my eyes the entire way through. Shot mostly on anamorphic lenses, most of the time wide open as well. They looked fantastic. And uh, the soundtrack really gets everything pumping. Uh, you really feel like you're really involved in the entire film and what's going on. I gotta really give praise to Joaquin Phoenix's performance here. It is utterly raw and brutal. Um, this film, like from what people were saying, they were saying it was, people were saying this film was brutal and I took that as brutally violent. It's not really brutally violent. In fact, the film doesn't really show a huge amount of violence, um, like up close at least. It shows stuff from far away and the aftermath of the violence which is almost more brutal in a way and it really works here fantastically well along with some really cool editing of kind of flashbacks uh, from Joaquin Phoenix's character uh, while he's just doing the things that he's doing in the present and how the brain connects these things to past events and how it affects him is just really really saddening sometimes and very emotionally raw. The film's story itself is pretty straightforward and structure-wise. It's like a... He's a... I'll try and not spoil it. He's looking for a lost girl, um, like saving a, saving a girl, um, and is hired by her father uh, to go find her. And from there it kind of diverts from that kind of normal-ish story um, and has a few little twists and turns. Uh, but the main point of the film, the main focus, it would be Joaquin's character, really. Um, not much else matters. It's about his journey through this and what happens to him and what's happened to him in the past, in my opinion, at least. I really thoroughly enjoyed this film and I will definitely, I would, I'd definitely highly recommend this to anyone who loves cinema, likes interesting films. Um, it is just mind-blowing and I'll definitely be picking this up on blu-ray or whatever it comes out on when it's released on home media go see it at the moment it's in cinemas in Australia um, I believe in the US it's out on blu-ray already uh, I'm not sure about Europe though and uh, yeah thank you again for event cinemas for providing me with this ticket always a pleasure working with you if you have if you're choosing a cinema in Australia event cinemas is probably my favorite my personal choice uh, they're always really friendly easy to deal with and they have a huge selection of movies showing most of the time. Thank you all for watching my review of You Were Never Really Here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more. We are only 68 away from the big 1000. Let's get us there, share the video around, share the channel around, do all you can. I really, really appreciate it. Cannot believe we're almost at a thousand, it's insane. Hit me up in the comments or on Twitter, always open for a chat. And till next time, take care.